Davidson Center uh, Museum opened, uh, reopened yesterday. It uh, took them three years to renovate everything. Then I want us to visit it. This is for me, just like for you, the first time. Then let's see what we can see. The first part you can see the names of Jerusalem and uh, it's beautiful to see that on the stones of Jerusalem. It's in English and Hebrew. I must tell you that uh, Jerusalem was mentioned mm, lots of time in the Old and the New Testament. Jerusalem never mentioned in the Quran, the holy book of the Muslims, although the Hadith mentioned it a lot. That's if you're talking about uh, Jerusalem and uh, the names of Jerusalem. From Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, Hiroshima, Yerushalayim, uh, <laughs> El Quds, there's so many names for Jerusalem. But uh, let's see what we can see from here. This is a sarcophagus. Remember, we talked about uh, taking out the bones from the tomb of the people, uh, the Jews. Then this is uh, one of those three, four, I think it looks like four. Someone very uh, small. It's um, the name Jerusalem is on it somewhere. Uh, it's from Jericho, from the first century. Um, let me see. Uh, the the, um, the osary is in. Uh, I mean, the inscription is in uh, um, Aramite and Hebrew. Felita menu Jerusalem. I don't see the inscription, but if they say that there is one, oh, maybe there. Here it is. You know, how can you see if you can see something from here? But uh, first century, the name Jerusalem is already mentioned. And that, this is another um, column, uh, part of column within the inscription Yerushalayim, and this is, this is something important. First of all, it's from uh, the first century BC. And the uh, Israelis and the Jews call it Yerushalayim, like the full name. And to find here the word from Jerusalem, Yer, sorry, from Me Yerushalayim, the long version of the name that we are still using, this is, this is beautiful. And, um, then it's from the second temple time. And this is the oldest or the earliest inscription that mentioned the name of Jerusalem in plan spell, uh, spell, uh, spelling. It is beautiful. Hananiah, Hananiah by Dolores or Dolores from Yerushalayim. Beautiful. And let's see, this is a certificate from the first temple period mentioned in Jerusalem, but it's a copy, it's a replica. All right, it's difficult for you to see it, but here it is. Hmm, what can I say? It's beautiful. And there are more and more uh, Ostrakhan uh, from the Jewish quarter, first century BC, that means in Jerusalem, Yerushalem. Mm, we need to take a picture of that. Although I saw it in the um, the Israel Museum, they moved it to here. I'm happy. And the word Jerusalem. And let us see what. Um, Handel bearing the imprint of five bright and star, and the name Jerusalem is in the middle. This some idea, but this is Yerushalam, the short version of it, from City of David, second half of the second century BC, Hashmonai time, even before King Herod. We do have another six minutes to watch a, v a movie. I won't be able to take a picture, uh, um, a video of that video, but I think it's important for you to 
to know everything that I know, and later on we will make a run tour around the, the park itself. Then, uh, are you going to wait with me? Yes, you are. Thank you very much. Don't forget, meanwhile, to subscribe my channel and um, to be part of my family member. Oh, more names of Jerusalem. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful museum. Um, I didn't like the old one. The, this version of the museum is perfect. You must visit it. What a lovely thing. Soon we will deal with the menorah. This is a part of Al-Aqsa Mosque from 1863, and that is from 1859. It's beneath the dome of uh, the rock, beneath the foundation stone. And that is the foundation stone itself, and that was taken in 1859. The video will uh, start soon, it's seven minutes, it will be the history of Jerusalem, uh, you don't need, uh, I mean, um, this is kind of, um, um, I don't have rights for that, but I will try to mention if it was good or not, uh, so stay with me, there's so much to see in that beautiful museum. Now, the movie was, was, was really okay, I loved it, it's seven minutes, sadly it's only in English, and uh, Hebrew, um, there are Arabic, uh, um, part of it's in Arabic, but there are translations only in English and Hebrew, yet, then if you don't speak those two languages, it's a problem. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. It's about the uh, southern wall of the temple. There's no sound. No, but look how beautiful it is. We are going to visit it soon. He talked about the plaza that he built to create a temple, and now you see the plaza, and we're going to visit the entrance, and the offel, which is to up, to go up, from City of David. Mikves, both assistants. Beautiful. We are going to visit it soon. How beautiful is the southern wall, the entrance, the exit, entrance, exit, we're going to visit it. See Mount of Olives to the right. Look at the different kind of stairs, one is short, one is wide. Double gate is the entrance, and you will see part of it soon. There's a problem with the sound, and they will uh, deal with it in about a few minutes, but uh, it's better to see it like that. Beautiful as this. Been destroyed 70 AD by the Romans. But not all of it.
Mm. 7th century, the Muslims were here to Maya. They built um, palaces. I think we are part of it as well. Aqsa Mosque, the Tomb of the Rock, the site of the Jewish Temple, the corner of the southern and the western wall is in front of you. Look how beautiful it is. Mount of Olives. century BC it's from the temple Um, for the tour guides, because I'm going to um, upload it to, for them as well, because no one actually visited it before, this is a room that you can take your group and uh, talk about uh, so many things. It's air-conditioned, it's excellent for the uh, summer and winter time. And we are climbing up. But you can see that you can use the elevator the, for the one who needs it. Remember, it's my first time as well. Yo, ah, the Magdala Stone is here. Ah, that's a restaurant. All right. Those are the restaurants. Actually, the same place that they've been before, I think. This is the, as I have an it. this is the original one from Magdala? Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah, okay. Now you visit Magdala with me so many times. We talked about that amazing uh, stone, and uh, I saw it for the first time in uh, Genosar, but now I can see the original one, then I'm touching it. <laughs> and we can actually see something so beautiful because we are talking about the menorah, the symbol of the Jewish temple, then you can see the menorah here. And it's my, and the importance of it is that it's from um, first century BC. First century um, before or after, no, after, after. But before the destruction of the temple. That for us, it's so important because someone who did it knew how the menorah looks like it. Then, wow, uh, I will tell it to all of my tour guides. There's so many things, so many researchers about it, but I will uh, try to do that as, as fast as I can. And this is another important thing. It's um, from Kevayason, yeah, in the Rehav, yeah? And we've been there, and you can see Menorah. It's like someone uh, didn't know what to do, then he uh, actually curved the menorah, the, the reason it's so important for us, and this is from uh, first century as well, it, it's important because we, don't, we are not sure how the menorah looks like. There are a few versions. Um, then in that case, um, with everything that we can find here, including that, and this is not a replica, we can actually study about the shape of the menorah. And here, let's see, it's a um, stone vessel fragment uh, with uh, a menorah, of course, and that's for first century CE. See, it's a, uh, another word to AD, you can see the menorah there. And, mm, wow, it's found here in the city of David at the sewage canal. Ooh. 
that is that is beautiful because I never saw it before, and I came for that. This is the coin of King uh, Agri uh, Antigonus II, which is um, 37 BC. Then the menorah was there, and this is a coin, and uh, the inscription, although it's very difficult to see, it's, it tells us, um, uh, wait, 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 uh, of King Antigonus in Greek. Wow, my camera is so good. But you can see a little bit of the menorah itself, indeed. And in a way, man, let me uh, try not to move. In a way, if I remember correctly, um, this is the earliest description of the menorah. They did a temple on Dino Arts. It's such a beautiful thing to see. That we are dealing with the menorah, but I must say that I'm amazed with that. And though the pilgrimage to the temple in Jerusalem, remember the Jews had to be there three times a year, you can see the stairs to Robinson Arch. And we're going to see Robinson Arch later soon. But it's a, not, it's a replica. Da -da 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 -da. I'm happy. What's that? Let's go in. Let's see what we have. We can see here. Oh, this is the last room. And uh, here you can play with everything. You can touch, you can move, you can see and study about it. Looks like a um, Herodian wall of the temple. It's a nice museum for the uh, tour guide. It's, uh, uh, you can do it by yourself, nothing now. You can actually see it, you know it, but you can uh, use them as well. It's around 40 minutes. And I think it's part of the, that I didn't ask, if it's part of the regular ticket of Davidson. Then you can listen to it. This is about the foundation stone. Then the history of it. And um, let's see what else. Remember, a reminiscence of the temple in the Jewish holidays and festivals. Then you can actually do it only in English and, and Hebrew. And... Um, Let's touch the English just for the, and he like it looks like it doesn't work, or maybe. Uh, I think she said that they are, there's, there's, uh, they've got maybe probably a bit of voiceover. It's okay. Uh, it's the second day of it, and what we can see here, I don't know. It looks oh, it's from the other side. Mm, let's see if it will work, but it's only in Hebrew. Then I don't know. It's remember the temple. It's only in Hebrew. At least that's what I can see. It's like to build a temple or something like that. And more and more and more and what and more. Books. Oh, just warm. I do have that book. I do have that book. Beautiful. What can I say? It's a new museum. Uh, let me go outside and ask if it's part of uh, the entrance fee or we need to pay a little bit more than that. One more thing for the tour guide and for everyone. We do have um, Starbucks now. I mean, it's not a Starbucks. It's Aroma. But it's at the entrance of the museum then uh, and there are restrooms there too then in that case um it's the full yes it's the full wow good coffee nice uh, museum which you saw it together with me for the first time and um and soon we will say goodbye
but that area is of the Omite uh, palaces that have been here and I'm going to ask uh, oh, oh I want you to see something else then don't go away but we are on the way to the exit I must say that the smell here is not so good because they are working, I don't know, something like oil. As you can see, they are still renovating. You can see the difference between new and old. Old and new. It looks like someone is getting married. Oh, uh, no, two kids. Ah, uh, it's like family pictures. Uh, it looks like like one of the. No, one of the. Uh, bar mitzvah parade. And. I want you to see something so beautiful Then don't go away This is a column from, as I believe, the Jewish temple But it was used by the league, the Roman league uh, That destroyed that temple and used it I believe that he built himself here a kind of a temple for themselves and that was the center although some people believe that it wasn't here um, it's a column bearing a latin inscription but the column itself is new the inscription saying uh, <laughs> emperor emperor caesar vespasianus augustus vespasianus augustus and Titus, son of Vespasianus Augustus, those are the two that destroyed the Jewish temple. And then, well, I can see the one which is right here, but above it, Lig, see the X, this is the number of the Roman League uh, that used to be here. Uh, from, uh, from, how is probably they have to pronounce the name? Uh, all right. Um, from X, X. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I know that I'm dyslectic. And if you think this is part of it, then uh, let me ask him about the prize, and we will continue. R Roma is right there. And the most important question, the price of the museum is actually uh, including the, the, the park itself. Then in that case, it's worth it, worth it, worth it. And look at that. All right, you can see, you can see the um, El Aqtamas, uh, Haram al-Sharif, or whatever you want to call it, the foundation stone and an Aqtza. This is the um, Western Wall Plaza and the Davidson area is here, which is the corner of the Western Wall and the Southern Wall. Worth it. Then see you, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I hope that I didn't make any mistake. Um, bye bye.